This lesson, we're going to be using a JavaScript to create an element on the page. And then that element is going to be a clickable button that when it's clicked, it'll check to see if the background color is red. And if it's not red, then it will make it red. And if it is red, then it will just clear out whatever we've got for the background color that's set within the HTML. So there we go. We see that this is the action that's being taken. Clicking the button is updating the body style of the background color. The objective of this lesson is we're going to add in a button within the div that has the class of main and clicking that button is going to allow us to change the background color of the page. So let's go ahead and link to our JavaScript. And first of all, we want to select the main element and that's going to be the one with the class of main. So we're using the document and query selector and the selection that we're making is selecting the element with a class of main. So it's going to select that main element. And in order to just make sure that we did select the right element, I'm just outputting that into the console. So we can see that once we've selected it here within the console, we can see that it put into the console. So we're ready to add in a button. So with the button, we want to create an element. So using the document create element and the element that we want to create is going to be a button. Let's take that newly created button and we're going to add some text content into it. So it'll just say click me right now. And then we want to add the button to the page. So we're adding it into the main and this is, we can do this with append. And the difference between append and append child is that append child does have a callback where it will call back that element that was just created. So we don't need to do that because we've already selected the element. So we're just appending the button to the main element on the page. So there's our button. And now when we go into the source of the page, we can see that within the main element with the class of main, we've created a button. So let's make the button do something. So taking the button and we can add an event listener to the button. The event that we're adding is going to be a click event. And so that's going to fire off and we're just going to do an anonymous function. So whenever the button is clicked, it's going to run the function and selecting the document and the body of the document object and applying a style and we can select the whole uh, element there and apply a background color. And this can just be whatever background color we want to apply to there. So let's uh, minimize this a little bit. And now when we click it, we see that we're applying the background color of red. So if you wanted to toggle this background color, so we can also have a condition to check to see if the background color. So let's uh, take that and we'll select that as we'll select the document body style object. So just to shorten the code and uh, selecting out the body element. And this way we can shorten some of the code that we've got here. And first of all, we're going to check to see what the color is, if the color is going to be red. And if it is red, then we're going to set it to a different color. And if it's not red, then we're going to set it to be red. So let's add that in and then add in a different color so we can set it back to white or we can completely remove it so we can just have it as just blank. So we click it, it goes red. Second time we click it, there's uh, no style background color applied to it. So it just goes through the default, which was just the blank. So there we go. So that's how we can add in the button into the page, changing the background color.